and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods and we've got a few to show you today for the end of the week let's go to the mod hub and here's what we got for end of week mods so the first one is the Schlut Schlutter 2500 VL by Giants Software so that's like an old school looking tractor then we've got a new map how do you say that Prismas so whoa something like that by Prismamson welcome to the map of yep yeah, the map consists of 41 areas 32 arable fields two forests and you can sell crops in three stationary purchases what you can sell crops in three stationary purchases. Oh, three sell points. Okay, the train is an important element of the map because it is integrated to the farm. Excuse my voice at the moment. I've uh, been out of the cold all week. Right, a large area with obstacles for horseback riding, sawmill for trains, loading ramps for the train on the farm. That's cool. That's train path integrated into the farm. That's, now that's totally different. We haven't seen any maps where the train goes into the farm. That looks cool. We'll do the, the mods. We would do new mods here. Then we've got the Gents HEM583Z with SCAP. Oh, I see. It's got the outside cab crack on there. And that's by Ben Steer and Ronnie dot b the big trail pto driven chipper from jensen now available even wider range of tire setups predetermined predefined colors for you to choose the 583z is capable of chipping logs up to 56 centimeters well that's the big one so it will take the large logs cool coming from under forestry duh well where else would it be Customized machine colour, green colour, lots of options for those. Available on different. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. We will have a look at that one. Then we have the Lemkin Diamond Diamond 12 by Mifi, Mifi FS. TCL 98 and that is a new plow 4.5 meter width 225 or so not excessive and then we got the TGS 41.500 IT runner by PM Modin 510 horsepower cool Then we have the HGM Double Claw. That looks a pretty awesome bit of kit. So that's by HJ Machine Battle. Cool, nice mod that. Then we also have a, another plow. They just come in, you always get one and you get another. By Catfan18 Mods uh, and Driver300. The Kurland BE6, 1.08 meter, 120 horsepowers. And this looks interesting one. Placeable Straw Barn by Castiga and Edge Gaming. Nice and clean barn that works as a selling point, which is pretty good. You know, if you want to set, add, add an extra selling point, bring it a little bit closer to where you want it. You can do so now 50 grand 18 by 23 meters it looks quite quite a large building and that is your lot for today right so first off we have a new IT runner it's, it's weird on FS 17 it took ages to get IT runner trucks and on FS19 we have abundance of 
Now this one is the TGS 41500 and it cost you £195,000. I have tested that out and it proved to be quite stable even when you go and flat out and you start turning it doesn't lose it. So handling wise of this one has been pretty good. I'm impressed with it. It's done the job. Now the leasing costs for this one is £9,945 and it is minus 36 on the slot count which is quite high but it is a modded truck. Now we've got chrome wheels going on here. You've got all the different colours available as well. There's absolutely loads of colours. There's twice as many colours as what you can normally have. And you can change the chassis colour on the back there as well. So we've got the, it's only got the two lot, uh, main lights at the top there. But nice bit of kit. And it's nice having the eight wheel one where the other one we've got the third wheel on three wheels on the back and then one steering where this one is the all four steering wheels. Which makes it pretty good turning radius on it. But everything seems to be fine because we did have problems with the one IT runner, I think that was the first one. But yeah, pretty nice bit of kit, and I do like inside. Look behind, you got the window, although you can't see it because this massive headrest is there. But never mind, it'd be nice if we could just tilt out slightly when you turn behind so you could actually see in the window. Also, in the front, it's got on the front there, you've got the mirror for to see how close you are for hit it, hitting anything. So you can see right down at the number plate basically. Um, and the way the cab moves, rocks forward and back with the momentum, pretty cool. Same when you're hooking up, you can see it, all the weight going on. cool and if you know me I love the trucks anyway so this is pretty awesome love it yeah not not the best turning radius on it but it's uh, it's all about the eight-wheel drive the 8x8 eight eight, it just goes anywhere it does what it wants to and that's what you want from a truck right we use that shortly because I've got a chipper up on the hill we've got to test that out and we will use the back to put the chips, wood chips in meanwhile we go over to new tractor and it's the Schlutter 2500 VL now this is by Giants and yeah I suppose it's old school sort of new school I've never seen this before so I don't know if it was in a FS17, I didn't think it was on for console at all. Now it is £124,000 and it's £6,324 leasing cost with a 250 horsepower and is only minus five slots. But you can see because of the, uh, it's not a huge amount of detail on it, but it is detailed. You can see what it is. You have got Trailborg or Michelin's. The Trailborgs, you can have the wides. Or the, yeah, that's the wides, I think, on, what was that, Trailborgs? Yeah. And then these were the Michelin. Yeah. And the Michelin's were a little bit more expensive. The wides are uh, 1900 and the Trailborgs wides are 1800 And then the twins are 8400 for the Michelin's and then the Trailborg or 8300 and it's got a 19 mile an hour top speed on it no other options apart from changing the tires basically now it has got let's put the help window on so we don't miss anything 
but yeah on this there isn't anything there I have to check on the IT one actually I didn't check on there so going inside and it's pretty basic old school analog controls start it up we have got lights no indicators on the dash and no pedal movement no animation inside however it has got full wheel steering let's get around in the sunshine let's turn it round towards the sun then and you see that there it is there but it is not very good and the good thing is where we are now is you've got some nice lines so you can actually see so let's just turn it full lock and that is full lock that is how far you need to turn around now that to me is a long way because you can see the, the front wheels they don't turn enough I know some of the tractors it uh, they do get restricted with the twin wheels but it's exactly the same with the wide it looks a little bit better we go about the same place you see it's a little bit better, better not much better though then lighting wise we've got front back and main main beam with your beacons as well and then indicators are on the inside that's different I don't think we've got indicators on the front no yeah we have just at the side of the doors there but you can't really see that one so yep new trap there then moving on we've got two plows we've got the Kronland BE6 and this is 12 grand to buy 612 pounds for initial leasing costs and it's minus nine on the slot count 1.8 meters wide this one it's a working speed of seven mile an hour and you need 120 horsepower to run it which is quite low but then again it's only 1.8 meters wide detailing on it yet again is amazing very detailed looks nice job done a good job no other options available then we have the Lemkin Diamant 12 now this will cost you 45 grand and it's 2295 pounds initial leasing costs and it's minus five on the slot count it is 4 meter 4.5 meter wide so it's a decent size and you need 225 horsepower to run it it has got a 10 mile an hour working speed no other options available so let's get the new tractor out get it fired up this is 250 horsepower so it should be fine for both of them can we pick no we haven't got a front attacher on that tractor I always forget about that you forget to have a look you don't even notice there's no front attacher so I've got a field just up the top of the hill and we got a load of sugar beet in here but we want to test to see lower it down 
and we are allowed to create fields yeah no problem now I think this tractor the turning radius on it is going to be absolutely ridiculous and uh, I'll be interested to see what the worker does So let's give it a go. Working speed of seven. Right, and I just want to see what sort of turning radius this worker is going to do. Wow, that's like another pass, just him turning around. And what's he doing? So he's going along now and not even ploughing. So where the hell is this going? And look, just don't care, just push everything out of the way. But where are you going? That's what I don't understand. The worker's off his head. And he's finished. Oh, he's blocked by an object. Right, well, I thought that would be problems because there isn't a turning radius on that tractor. It's just not there. Right, let's go and get the next one. Right, so let's test the next one and the Lemkin Diamant. Unfold. Right, and we can allow great fields. And we haven't got any other thing going on, I don't think. No. So let's set that worker off because I have crop destruction on. And if you use a worker, he doesn't damage it. Well, that's working 10 mile an hour. Not a huge amount of animation. I'm going to turn that rain because he's going to be there. Going too slow. So can we turn? Yeah, we can turn the plow. Let's slow it down this time. Oh yeah, the, we got some animation going on there. Not a huge amount, but it's uh, it's ploughing. I know it's hard to show up the bridges for console, but that works. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. The AI on the tractor, though, is a different story. Right, turn plow, so that's all done. Let's move on to our next mod. And here it is, it's the HJM Double Claw. Now that is for picking up serious logs. This is the first time I've seen something this large and this is what's needed so you can get a nice stack. I know I have got a fairly decent stack there and we'll see if we can pick it up with it. Now this costs £5,950 to buy and £303 for your initial leasing cost minus two on the slot count and there are no other options for it. You get what you see. Now I did have problems when it's closed up and it's not on the right ground. I put it down and it rolled forward and it rolled upside down and I couldn't pick the bloody thing up again. So when you drop it down on the floor, try and leave the uh, it open a little bit. I'll show you what I mean as long as I don't lose it. 
if you close it oh, it's not going to do it now is it typical I think it was just because of the, the slope I was on because I, I was up against the logs there yeah you see it's going to start rolling off right so let's see what this is like for picking up a large stack and we'll see if we can pick up the whole lot in one is that in the middle yeah that'll be good enough for the middle I don't think we're gonna pick them all up Yeah, I can't drag them back, so we're going to have to do it the other way. I was hoping I could scoop them in on the back and pick them up, but oh no. Yep, so it's closed, but it hasn't closed them totally. But at least we have picked up. Well, that's five. But I bet they're a bit loose in there. No, they're not too bad. I thought you might be able to pick it up that way and then actually do the grab but I don't think it likes it no yeah it's only picked up the one it's glitched out a little bit there it likes to be these they do go under though go on get down there we go well that was half the trouble you go to pick them up and it it wouldn't go under Go on, get in there. So yeah, that works. Nice new addition to a login. Right, one thing I've only just noticed, I'm just clearing up a few logs, and you've got the log grab there to pick them up and down and what have you. But you also have you on the other side you have your up and down like that hold down two of them look at that awesome loving that see you can probably pick up huge huge trees with that which is why I should always have the help window on so then you can see these things I like that Right, then moving on, we have the Gens HEM583Z. Now, this is a chipper, and it will cost you 88 grand. It's the same as the other one. It's just got the modification where we have the crane on it as well. So it's 88 grand, same as the other one, 4,513 on your leasing cost. It's minus seven. Now, there's eight main colors you can have, and they're an extra two grand. And the design colour, you can have red or black. Now, the, everything in black... Well, no, I think it was just the front bit, actually. Was, you can have that red or black. That is your lot. That's all your choices for it. You can have different size um, tyres. We've got trail bogs, com communals, and wides. And then we have Michelins. And that's, that's it to have the extra lift on it the crane there that is an extra £2,450 
but nice bit of kit. Now I don't know if he's going to pick up one of these log, longer logs, so I'll just cut one of them in half anyway, so it doesn't glitch out. Let's get a trotter over here. Where is it? We'll use that one. And options turn on unfold so we unfold the crane and that's quite a nice feature so you don't have to put the crane away Let's come on back a bit and then yeah we've got all our normal controls and I can't remember how to do the different crane groups because it's got the eight riggers there and that'll be on the ah oh, there it is pipe oh it is the pipe then so we can move the pipe wherever we want and of course I need the IT runner well I could drop it on the ground but I, I want to check make sure there was no extra options because I didn't have the options menu on But no, we just got a drop off container, no doors or, or anything seem to be opening. And I'm sure this container does take wood chips. Yep, it's it has recognised it. So let's jump in. Yeah, support arm, there you go. So that is that one. And then we put the eight riggers down. And then press it again. No, that's disconnect. Pipe, support arm. And that's nothing. There we go. So let's get into the crane. So you have to get into the crane to operate it. No, it's not having it. Oh no, you don't have to be in the crane. Isn't that weird when it does that? So do you need the tractor? Because you, you should do, because it's powered off the PTO. And it won't let me get in the crane. No, oh, that's strange. I thought I was in the crane earlier. Perhaps I wasn't. Anyhow, let's get a log. Insufficient power available for this. Oh, have I screwed up? Oh, you need 250 horsepower. Right, back in a minute. Right, so we have more horsepower. So we should be able to start it up. And away it goes. It's got beacons on it as well. Indicators. Work lights. I think that's, yeah, that's trapped to work lights, isn't it? But yeah, it looks like it's working away. That's just strange you can't get in the crane there. You go straight into the tractor. But never mind, let's make sure we can pick something up. Whoa. So we have got a boom on this as well. I didn't think it would pick that up. It's 
fair play, that is pretty stable. Oh, look at that, I like the way that opens up. Go on, get in there. Yep, the little one's gone. So yeah, that that's just too long for it, isn't it? But it will pick it up. Yeah, and I'm not very familiar with the controls on that one. Is it a little bit different, or I'm just not used to it? But it's cool the way it opens up for the larger logs. Let's cut a bit off this one. Yep, and that's working. Cool. So unfold. Oh my, that log's going to get caught. Yeah, oh, it glitched out. That's good. Then pipe in. Right, last mod is at the road, so I will see you there in a minute. Right, so we are at the farm, and we have the Edge Barn Deluxe. So we have a barn cell point, basically, which you can be put anywhere you require. Quite a detailed bit of kit, it looks very nice. 50 grand to buy and it's minus 10 on your slot count so it's not extortionate you can't go in anywhere apart from the the cell point where you just drive through into the hazard markings and it's in there easy as that so if especially on some of the maps you haven't got many places to sell or you want it a little bit closer so you don't have to travel so far it's ideal nice looking mod done a fantastic job now it comes in three different colors you've got white black and red what's that that's not a switch or anything is it no it's just there to look pretty so we we'll just see how much we're getting we've got four straw and four grass And load bales. I think if we drive forward. You watch him just not disappear. So 
sold 3,113. So that was quite a bit of money. That was only eight bales. Wow, that's good, good little money maker. I do like these extra sell points. What you can add to your game makes it the game that little bit more interesting. Pretty cool. Right, well that is your lot for today. I, I'm just catching up on a few more map tours, so don't forget to don't forget to go and check them out. And if you've enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to hit the like button for me. And if you haven't already subscribed and enjoying watching my content, then hit that subscribe, and you won't miss any future videos. Now, if you're new to the channel. Go and have a look at my other videos. We're coming up to about 300 farming simulator videos. Got a couple of mud runner in there, but most of them are farming simulator. There's about 100 for FS17. About getting on for 200 for FS19 now. So don't forget to check those out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.